questioning the status quo. Asking more from the world around us is in our nature. After all, Google was built on a single question. What if all the information in the world was available to everyone, everywhere? A big question for us is, what if smartphones got smarter and simpler? We set out to design a phone ourselves because we believed we could make the smartphone experience better. The first Pixel phone delivered a clean and fast UI, put the Google Assistant in your pocket, and brought you, brought you the best camera ever in a smartphone. And we didn't stop asking big questions or working to solve big challenges for users. Today, we're proud to introduce the Google Pixel 2, designed for you with the best of Google built in. We've created the new Pixel in two sizes, a five inch and a six inch XL, with thoughtful design elements and improvements to the UI throughout. We're bringing you more Google Assistant capabilities. We've added new smart experiences to the camera and we'll continue to deliver the best photography. Plus, we're introducing some innovative new products to complement your Pixel experience. We do all this by bringing together the best of hardware, software, and AI. Let's begin with the design. We've evolved the Pixel's iconic look to be even bolder. The all aluminum body with a premium hybrid coating gives it a sleek and clean profile. The soft sculpted back with a distinct sideband feels comfortable and secure in your hand. The refined visor is made of sturdy, gently curved colored glass and transitions seamlessly into the metal body. We've placed the fingerprint sensor where your finger naturally falls. It's extremely accurate, secure, and it unlocks faster than any other smartphone. We also added a small pop of color on the power button for a bit of playfulness. Over on the front, Pixel 2's front-facing stereo speakers are precision tuned to deliver the perfect balance of volume, clarity, and frequency response. We place them so you can comfortably watch videos in landscape mode without muffling the audio with your hand. If you prefer headphones, use your existing analog headphones with the included adapter, or your digital USB-C headphones for the highest resolution audio all the way to your ears, or avoid cables altogether with your upgraded Bluetooth 5.0 support and hi-fi codecs. The smaller 5-inch Pixel 2 features a full HD OLED display, and it's as smart as it is beautiful. The display intelligently selects which specific pixels to turn on, leaving the others perfectly dark for a 100,000 to 1 contrast ratio. That's twice the resolution and more than 10 times the contrast ratio of phones in its category with LCD displays. Pixel 2 comes in three colors, kind of blue, just black, and clearly white. We love picking the color names. Uh, so let's talk about the display on the XL. The six inch Pixel 2 XL was designed with innovative POLED display technology. We elegantly curved the glass to bring the display to the edges for a full screen immersive viewing experience. The screen supports 18 by nine QHD plus resolution with over 4.1 million pixels, which equals 538 pixels per inch for amazing detail. We tuned the display to take advantage of the wide color gamut for vivid and realistic colors. We've integrated a circular polarizer, which lets you enjoy the screen even while wearing sunglasses. And we've optimized the displays on both phones for virtual reality. They're both daydream ready. The Pixel 2 XL comes in two colors, just black and the stylishly simple black and white. Feel free to choose whichever size pixel you prefer because you'll get the same great experience on both. We don't set aside better features for the larger device. Both devices. <laughs> both devices are IP67 water and dust resistant and have an all day battery that charges super fast. You get up to seven hours of charge in just 15 minutes. Now, 
Sabrina from the Pixel product team is going to take us through the new Pixel 2 UI and some cool and useful features. Thanks, Mario. We're constantly working to make the smartphone experience easier and more helpful. And you'll see improvements throughout the Pixel 2's UI. That helpfulness starts before you've even unlocked the phone. Let me show you the Pixel 2's new Always On Display. You can see important information like the time, date, email and text notifications and reminders, all without pushing any buttons or unlocking the device. And there's more than just notifications on your Always On Display. Have you ever heard a song you loved and wondered what it was called? With Now Playing, you can just glance down to see the song name and artist on your phone. What makes this feature so special is that the music is identified without your Pixel 2 sending any information to Google. On-device machine learning detects when music is playing and matches it to a database of tens of thousands of song patterns on your phone. In this example, you can see that Pixel recognized the song Perfect Places by Lord. From here, I can tap on the song title and I'm taken to the Google Assistant. I can add the song to my library and my favorite music service like Google Play Music or Spotify, search the web for the song, or even watch the video on YouTube. This feature has brought me some delightful moments over the past few months, and I'm finally learning who sings my favorite songs. <laughs> okay, so let's go to a live demo. Here we are on the new Pixel 2 home screen. You can see here I've selected one of our live wallpapers. This is from our new collection called The Living Universe. And if you look closely, you'll notice subtle movements like the waves crashing on the beach. I love that. At the top of the screen, there's a space called at a glance where you can easily see the latest updates on your day. We're starting with calendar events today with traffic, flight status, and more coming soon. In this case, I can see that I've got a mysterious meeting coming up. Not sure what that's about. <laughs> We've placed the Google Quick Search box at the bottom of the home screen, where it's, we found that it's easier to reach, and we're making it even more powerful. It stays with you as you swipe across your screens of apps and widgets. A quick tap into the search box can help me find anything that I need. As I start typing, I can see web search results at the top, but also contacts and apps from my phone. I can even drag an app from here and drop it right on my home screen. We've also made it faster and easier to get to the Google Assistant on Pixel 2 with a new feature called Active Edge. Just give your Pixel a quick squeeze where your hand naturally holds the phone and ask for whatever you need. Here's a quick demo. I just, I just squeeze the phone Take a selfie. One hand, no buttons. Help me out, front row. <laughs> nice. Our research team investigated dozens of ways to trigger the assistant, but squeezing the phone felt the most natural, satisfying, and efficient. After a lot of work in machine learning, we're able to accurately identify an intentional squeeze. We're really proud of how it turned out, and it even works when your phone is in a case. So your assistant is just a quick squeeze away, making lots of common tasks on your phone fast and easy. From calling and texting your friends, to controlling your smart home, to enjoying your favorite music and videos. And having the same assistant at home and on your phone means the experience is connected across devices. For example, I can say to my phone, okay Google, broadcast, hey, I'm almost home with the pizza, so get ready for dinner. And my voice message is shared with my family through the Google Home in our kitchen. The routines Rishi mentioned are coming to the phone as well. And we've also customized routines specifically from when you're on the go. The one I use most is when I'm on my commute. 
I jump in my car, drop my phone in the cup holder and say, okay Google, let's go home. Sure, let's go. Your commute home is currently 27 minutes with heavy traffic if you take US 101 South. You have one unread text message. It's from mom. It says, we'll bring dessert to dinner tonight. Here's where you left off in fresh air. Have a safe drive. I'm Terry Gross with fresh air. Super useful, all from one quick command. I love how it resumes my podcast right from right where I left off. My assistant even adjusts the volume so I can hear clearly on the road and automatically sends a message to my husband letting him know I'm on my way. Like all the new routines that the assistant will support, you can customize this one based on your preferences. So with a quick squeeze, useful routines on the go, and an assistant that keeps getting smarter, Pixel continues to be the most helpful phone around. Pixel 2 will launch with pure Android Oreo, with features like notification dots, picture in picture, and many more. If you already have a Pixel, you recently received the Android Oreo update, and we hope you're enjoying all the improvements. As a Pixel user, you'll always be the first to get OS and security updates without having to do anything. Your phone becomes faster, more capable, and more secure all the time. Next up, my Aparna is going to share some smart, helpful new ways to use your Pixel 2. <laughs> yourself, what kind of puppy is that? Or, I want pillows with that pattern. <laughs> Our phones can help us in many ways, but sometimes the questions we have are difficult to describe into a search box. As you heard Sundar talk about, we believe that as computers can understand what you see, it unleashes a whole new kind of assistance. That's why we started working on Google Lens, a way to do more with what you see. We're super excited to bring a preview of Lens to Pixel phones this year. So let's see it in action. Say you see this flyer for piano lessons. As a guilty mom, I've done this. As you know, the email addresses on them are always so long, like bestmusicteachersf2001 at gmail.com. <laughs> now you can simply tap on the Lens icon, grab that right information, and fire off that email. This also works for phone numbers, websites, and addresses. Yeah, pretty neat. Here's another example. You're at your friend's place at a party, you see this nice print, and you wonder who's the artist. Now you can just lens it. You can also follow up with what else did he paint? You can use lens to answer many more questions, like is this movie worth watching? It totally is. <laughs> How good is this book from Zadie Smith? Tell me all about this album that my music hip friend Rishi sent screenshots of. What was the tempo from our trip five years ago? Look, across all these examples, there are a lot of things happening under the hood that are all coming together. So I'm gonna geek out for a moment and call out a few things. The computer vision systems. We've had some major breakthroughs in deep learning, and now they go from pixels in the photo to things in the scene. The power of Google search helps us train these algorithms with millions and millions of images across the entire web. The power of Google's knowledge graph with its billions of facts about people, places, things. We put it all together, and now you know, this Buddhist temple in Kyoto was built in the year 1236 AD. Who would have known? Now, this has to work in the noisiest of conditions. You know, these photos can be taken at different angles, different times of the day, different weather conditions, out of focus pictures, shaky hands, you get the picture. To be clear, sometimes computers do trip up, especially when things kind of look similar, like this. <laughs> Let's take a moment. Is this a muffin or is this a chihuahua? <laughs> You tell me. <laughs> it's early days for Lens. But you know, this is a familiar journey for us. When Google started, our search index contained about 25 million pages. Now, it's in the trillions. When we started working on voice recognition, 
Our algorithms couldn't always catch what you were saying, especially with an accent like mine. <laughs> now, we have an accuracy rate of more than 95%. That's as good as humans. <laughs> we're just getting started with helping you do more with what you see. Be it a photo from five years ago or something right in front of you. In time, we want to bring Lens everywhere, but super excited to bring a preview of Lens to Pixel users first. So you'll start to see this icon up here in Google Photos and soon Google Assistant. We just talked about how the phone can help you understand the world, but it can also help you place things into the world. That's right, that's augmented reality. We see it as a powerful way to bring the physical and the digital together. That's why we started working on AR Core, our augmented reality SDK for Android. And we see that developers are already using it to create some amazing experiences. I wanna show you a few examples here. So let's take House. They're bringing the showroom into your living room using AR. With League of Legends, you can watch one of the most popular eSport games on an AR map built by Grab Games. And with Lego, my favorite, you can build virtual models with characters that really come to life. All the fun, no Lego pieces to step on. <laughs> <laughs> we at Google are also making some fun things, and our teams have been working hard to create this new experience. We call it AR Stickers. It's built right into the camera, and it's exclusive to Pixel. With AR stickers, you can express yourself with playful emojis, like these fun food characters here. There's lots to choose from, and more will be added over time. Our partners are also making some fun stickers here, and I wanna show some of them to you right now. So let's start with the Netflix original, my favorite show, Woo! Stranger Things. Can't wait for season two. Yes. Ready to see it? Yes. Okay, time to set the mood. Lights, please. Okay, here's Leah using the Pixel camera. We're looking at the AR stickers. We're in the Stranger Things collection. Yes, okay. Uh, so let's pick a character. Let's pick Demi Gargan and place him right next to me. Whoa, okay. <laughs> you need to have a cup of coffee, dude. <laughs> Notice how the creature's not just sitting around where you put it, right? It's not a dead sticker, it's moving, it's reacting to what's around it, it's alive. We really paid attention to the motion, the physics, the lighting. We wanna make it feel like it's actually here. Is it? <laughs> <laughs> but let's have some fun. This is a great photo or video, by the way, please. But let's have some fun here. Leah, can we drop 11 into this? All right, okay, this is getting interesting. Now we have two characters in the scene, and notice how they're not just reacting to the environment around them, they're reacting to each other. Right? They know each other's presence. That's a big reaction. These interactions make some really interesting moments here. Wow, that was fun. Thank you, Leah. Now you can be the director of all kinds of stories and share, with, share these with your friends. You'll have more AR stickers to play with, your favorite characters from SNL, YouTube, the NBA, and just in time for episode eight, Star Wars. <laughs> I've been playing with these stickers, they're so easy to use, and they look great. And this is because the Pixel camera is specially calibrated for augmented reality. It allows robust tracking even in low light conditions. It also supports 60 frames per second rendering of AR content. You saw how the camera can help us do more with what we see with Google Lens. You saw how the camera can bridge the physical and digital with AR. But the Pixel camera also takes awesome photos. So to tell you all about it, we'll have Mario back on stage. Thanks, Aparna. We hear every day from users of the first Pixel phone that the camera is one of their favorite features. You can see why in the amazing photos that people post with the Team Pixel hashtag. Last year, Pixel received a DxO score of 89. 
That was the highest rating that DxOMark had ever issued to a smartphone. With Pixel 2, we have reimagined smartphone photography through great hardware and unparalleled imaging software, tuned by our engineers and researchers. Today, we're proud to announce that DxOMark has issued Pixel 2 an unprecedented score of 98. That's the highest score of any smartphone camera. Let's talk about how we achieve that, and it starts with great hardware. The Pixel 2 has a 12 megapixel f1.8 aperture rear camera with optical image stabilization. We've integrated these components with our HDR plus computational photography. For every photo, we take a burst of shots with short exposure times to avoid blowing out the highlights. We then align and combine each pixel algorithmically for optimal color and contrast. All of this happens instantly with zero shutter lag. The results are stunning with high dynamic range, even in challenging low light conditions. This year, we've increased the dynamic range and improved texture and sharpness. And combined with a new autofocus mechanism and optical image stabilization to reduce blur from shaky hands, you get amazing shots every time, like this and this. Pixel 2 also brings you portrait mode. Uh, but we're implementing it a little bit differently. We're applying Google's unmatched computational photography and machine learning. Portrait mode lets you take professional looking shots with a blurred background to make the foreground pop, like what you might capture with an SLR camera. Other smartphones do this by combining the images from two cameras. Pixel 2 does portrait mode with just one camera and machine learning. What's unique about Pixel 2 is that it can generate a true depth map with a single lens. So you get beautiful portrait shots without needing a second camera. The way this works is that the Pixel 2 camera includes a dual pixel sensor technology. This means that each pixel in an image con contains a right and a left view. The difference in perspective from those pixels combined with machine learning models trained on almost a million photos means that this works on really hard cases like a busy colorful background. And yes, this does work with objects too. And there's more. Portrait mode doesn't just work on the main camera. Because of the quality of Google's computational photography with a single camera, you can also take portrait selfies through the front camera on both the Pixel 2 and the Pixel 2 XL. The Pixel 2 takes amazing videos too. We're applying optical image uh, sta stabilization simultaneously with video stabilization at the same time. Other smartphones do optical or digital, we do, uh, but don't do both at the same time. During video recording on a Pixel 2, the OIS hardware actively corrects shake artifacts, while at the same time, the software-based video stabilization uses intelligent frame look ahead to stabilize the overall video. We call this fused video stabilization, and it's another example of Google's hardware plus software plus AI working together. The result is less motion blur, even in low light, your videos look smooth and professional. The Pixel 2 camera also supports a feature called motion photos. The photos you take with your, uh, in, for the photos you take, your Pixel captures up to three seconds of video behind the scenes, removing uninteresting motion and applying our unique fused video stabilization technology to the result. But of course, the proof is in the photos and videos. So we invited some photographers and producers to test 